Hello, in this video we'll be looking into the physical properties of the hydrocarbons that are separated from the fractional distillation of crude oil. In the previous video we had watched how crude oil can be separated into fractions based on the difference in the boiling point. Now each of the fraction has got different physical properties. So this video we will be focusing on the physical properties of those fractions. So based on the sizes, the physical properties vary. So this video is going to look into four of the physical properties which influence the desirability of a compound or a mixture of hydrocarbons to be used as a fuel. So the first one we'll look into is the boiling point. The boiling point is the, the temperature at which the liquid starts to boil. Now at boiling point, you are using the heat energy to break the intermolecular forces of attraction between the particles and at that temperature if you are heating now imagine that's one molecule that's another molecule third molecule if there is nothing holding these molecules together then they can just run away so when you start heating it it will increase the kinetic energy the particles will start to vibrate and they will boil off very quickly so at the minute they start to evaporate they boil off at boiling point you know it's escaped that means it's no longer in the liquid form but imagine if these particles are held up together in that case they cannot escape till they've broken this force of attraction so if the intermolecular force of attraction is strong it would need a lot of energy to break the intermolecular force of attraction before they can escape it's the same thing as imagine you standing alone or a group of children standing alone if they have to run they can run straight away but imagine if they're holding hands uh, or they're tied up together if they have to start running in that race they have to break that bond first before they can run so some amount of energy is utilized in that process so the stronger the intermolecular forces stronger is the heat energy that's needed to break it and therefore the boiling point would be high so in alkanes it's important to note that the intermolecular forces are very weak, therefore less energy is needed to break them. And that means the alkanes will boil at a lower temperature. Crucial point is, yes, the intermolecular force is weak, but as the number of carbon atoms increase, the intermolecular forces will increase. So that means the shorter alkanes have got smaller intermolecular weaker intermolecular forces larger alkanes have got stronger intermolecular forces therefore they boil at higher temperature and this is a very very important key point and based on that the fractions have got different desirability so fuels we know a good fuel needs to vaporize quickly so they should have low boiling point and you can see here Shorter alkanes have lower boiling point, therefore shorter alkanes are used as fuel. So boiling point is the temperature at which liquid boils or, it, or the gas condenses. So the shorter alkanes will have low boiling point, longer alkanes have got higher boiling points, therefore boiling point increases in that direction. This next physical property we're going to look into is the volatility. So before we look into volatility, I think I've got viscosity here. So let's look into viscosity. Viscous. Viscous means how easily a liquid flows. We know honey is quite gloopy, so honey is quite viscous. Therefore, it is less runny and it flows less easily as compared to water. Stronger the intermolecular forces, more is the viscosity. That means all the particles will be clumped together and therefore they will flow with difficulty. And we know that bigger chain alkanes are more or quite stronger intermolecular forces. Therefore, they will tend to be more viscous. Now, a good fuel should flow easily. So when you're at the petrol station 
and your parents are trying to fill the car with petrol or diesel, you want it to flow quite easily, not pull out like honey drops out. So that would take hours for the petrol to be filled up. So the fuel should be less viscous. Therefore, you can see that the tendency for viscosity is that the long chain alkanes will be more viscous. Flammability. Flammability is how quickly something catches fire. The more flammable it is, the more easily it will catch fire. Stronger the intermolecular forces, we know higher is the boiling point, more is the viscosity, therefore less is the flammability. So intermolecular forces increases with the number of carbon atoms, therefore shorter alkanes are more flammable than longer alkanes. So fuels need to be need to catch fire easily. Combustion. So stronger the intermolecular forces, combustion literally means burning something. So we know as a recap that stronger the intermolecular forces of attraction, we know the boiling point would increase. Greater is the gloopiness or the viscosity. Therefore, it will not catch fire easily. Therefore, we know that long chain hydrocarbons are not very desirable as a fuel. Shorter alkanes are more flammable, so they are better fuels. Therefore, shorter alkanes will also burn with a clean flame, whereas the longer alkanes burn with a smoky flame. So in a nutshell, this is what we've looked into. We've seen that boiling point increases along the homologous series, so the longer hydrocarbons will have higher boiling point. The tendency to turn into gas is more in shorter chain because shorter chain are held together by weaker intermolecular forces. So therefore they turn into gas quickly and therefore they burn quite easily as well. And because they turn into gas quickly, they are shorter chain, they are not held tightly. Therefore they are quite runny. There's nothing holding it together. Whereas long chain hydrocarbons, they have got stronger intermolecular forces, therefore they're quite gloopy. And because they're gloopy, it's less easy to flow, and therefore it doesn't catch fire quite easily. Its boiling point is high, and when it burns, it actually burns with quite a smoky flame. So that's what we've looked so far, and we've looked into that the characteristic of good fuel are the characteristics of shorter chain alkanes. So although, you know, larger alkanes are less easy to use, but some of them are still used as uh, Particularly useful are the shorter alkanes. So, so far, we've just covered all the physical properties. And you can see that the alkanes that you get or the fractions that you get at the top end of the fractionating column, they are the ones with short chain, they are the ones that are more desirable as fuel. The longer hydrocarbon chains that you get at the bottom of the fractionating column are less desirable as fuels. Therefore, they need to be broken down into short chain alkanes before they can be used as fuels. And that method is cracking. So that's that would be the topic for the next video where I will explain the cracking process how you can convert a long hydrocarbon chain into shorter hydrocarbons so that they can be used as fuels. So thank you for watching and listening to this video. And please do like the video and do subscribe to the channel. And if you've got queries, do ask. Thank you. Bye.